Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a requested video which is a rundown of the Guerlain Mon Petit Robe Noir perfume range. If you're new here, then welcome. Uh, do subscribe to all things perfume here. Every week I am uploading new perfume videos and I try and do your requests. So do subscribe and join our little community. So without further ado, let's get into the perfume review. So Guerlain, of course, is a high-end French brand, um, been going a long time, famous for its um, bronzing range and um, bronzing oils and um, their perfume. And of course, I've done the review of the Mon Guerlain perfume range, um, which has Angelina Jolie, which is probably the most advertised perfume from Guerlain. But Petit Robe Noir came out before Mon Guerlain, and I much prefer it to Mon Guerlain. I think it's one of the most underrated perfumes out there. So Mon Petit Robe Noir, or Petit Robe Noir, I'm really bad at French, means of course little black dress in English, and all the bottles are so beautiful with the beautiful dress on, like embossed on the front, that really cool lid, like really meaty. The bottles feel really exquisite and high end and fancy. And you can just imagine a sort of French aristocrat having this on their dressing table sort of a hundred years ago. So what does it smell like? So the original Eau de Parfum, really mages on a deep cherry flavour. It's a nutty, fruity cherry. There's loads of almond in here. There's vanilla, there's licorice, there's tonka bean, and then red berry and that cherry on the top. This is like a cherry liqueur. It's like very like nighttime, wintertime, um, really sort of mysterious deep cherry and some people say oh because it's got like a little dress on it's called like the petit robe noir this must be like for young girls like definitely not this is a woman's scent this is sexy and syrupy and it's kind of like i imagine if i walked into the moulin rouge in france this is what all the girls would be wearing like a sort of deep cherry fruity sexiness <laughs> I really like this because I love deep syrupy um, fruits of the forest perfumes like this and that tonka bean and vanilla and everything makes this really powerful, good at lasting, you only need a few sprays and yeah, I love it basically. <laughs> Now, if you don't want something so heavy, or perhaps for spring summer, the Eau de Toilette is a good option because it keeps that cherry signature scent of the original, but rather than the almonds coming through, you're getting like a light green apple. And then you've got a musky patchouli rose um, center. So this is more like your YSL black opium type perfume, but with the cherry really um, still the star of the show. So I really like this as well. This is perfect if you, for during the day perhaps, or when it's like a hotter climate type day and you don't really want like a deep intense perfume. So I really like both of these things. It's good to have both and then mix and match and layer depending on your mood. You can also buy the pure perfume or the extract perfume, um, which comes in this cute little bottle, bottle with these little sort of feathery fan on the front. So very Moulin Rouge again. This is basically like an intense, like it's literally like a cherry syrup, like really intense version of the original, strong version of the original. Um, you only need a few blots on the skin, but something a little bit different if you've had it in the past, it could be cool to get this instead. So there is then a Le Petit Nob Noir Intense, which has come out. Now this is not like a typical intense perfume. Usually intense is like the original, but stronger and maybe one or two new ingredients. This has quite a lot of new ingredients. So rather than it being all about the cherry, that's been replaced with blueberry. I guess hence the blue coloring on the bottle. So this is like blueberry, cotton candy, vanilla, patchouli, a little bit of raspberry to complement the blueberry. But it doesn't smell like the original that much. It smells like a blueberry version of the original. So perhaps if you like the sound of like that depth of the original, but you don't really like cherries, and you do like blueberries then this is basically a blueberry version like it would have been rather than calling it intense it would have been better to just call it like the the poutine robe noir blueberry or blue or something because it, it is a different perfume in its own right still lovely with the vanilla and patchouli so really good for lasting but yeah different more blueberry and not having the cherry anymore we then have Le Petit Rose Noir Couture, 
and like a lot of couture perfumes actually this majors in raspberry so cherry's gone and this time it's raspberry is the star of the show so it's a bit lighter and fresher fruitier you've got patchouli and vanilla here again and tonka beans in the base but no almonds like in the original so this is definitely a lighter version of the original like fresher raspberry perhaps if you want something that's a bit sort of lighter and fresher and more easygoing you like raspberry then this is a good one for you it is still an eau de parfum so it is going to be still good for lasting i i like this one as well i love raspberry so i think this is good if you just fancy a bit of a change um so yeah i think it's good to have i basically want all of these <laughs> we then have la patine robe noir ma robe petales or petal and um, this is back to the original but it's all about the almond and the nuttiness so there are three different nuts here which are the dominant notes so pistachio almond almond blossom tonka bean musk they put some bergamot and like mandarin here which you get in the initial spray and the cherry is still there but it's not as dominant as in the original the the nuts are allowed to be the star of the show so if you love an almond perfume you love like nuttiness and this is definitely a good one really good for like christmas time you know think think nuts on the fire at christmas like very warming perfume there is a little bit of vanilla and some floral notes in the heart so this all really mixes together but you're basically it is still dominated by the nuts um so yeah really nice warm um not as sweet as the others so we then have le petit robe noir black perfecto eau de parfum now this is really cool uh, not only is the bottle cool like being all black but this is taking the original the cherry of the original and then mixing it with like a deep leather the almond the licorice are there again so just like the original but it's like a deep leathery version rose patchouli in the heart tonka bean in the base this is such a good perfume like so good for lasting this is like you hardly need any sprays if you this is very like i can see someone wearing this who's like a really cool like biker chick so you've got the sweetness of the cherry but that leather's there it's still like cool and serious and it's very sexy it's very um like female empowering fragrance i yeah i i love it i think it's so clever to take the sweetness of the cherry and mix it with the leather um and the almond and everything it's just really cool good quality ingredients quality perfume we then have le petit robe noir floral eau de toilette you can see it also has the black perfecto branding on the packaging this is a, a lighter version so leather's here but instead of cherry we just have a pretty rose then almond and musk and a little bit of tea tea leaves black tea but you don't get that too much it's basically like a pretty leathery rosy musk um so like the little sister of black perfecto um you're getting the leather but without the sweetness of the cherry just the pretty like floral rose instead so if you want leather but you don't want it so like syrupy and intense then this is a better option and it's an eau de toilette of course so lighter and then lastly we have le petit robe noir plissé which i think means like pleated black dress this is a little bit different so almonds still here and cherries still here but there's a fair amount of apricot and also that black tea is back again so the, and the tea and the apricot scents do dominate over the almond and the cherry patchouli and rose are still there so it does still smell like a the pussy robe noir fragrance but apricot and tea make this bit lighter fresher more like summery um and just like a different sort of fruity fresher twist on the original you can of course get the complimentary body products which go with this which if you like the fragrance i totally recommend they really help layer it make it really cool and um, i'll leave those linked down below along with all the perfumes as always um us uk links but i think those links do work for other countries like europe and in the americas um so check it out if you're interested but highly recommend this range Guerlain make good quality stuff they will not put something out to the market if it's like rubbish so they think things through they're a traditional french couture house and they're not trying to be like the number one bestseller they're not gimmicky um they're not silly they just want to make really good perfumes and that's what i really like about them and i just love this range basically <laughs> 
So that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if it's helpful and subscribe for more of the same. Send me your requests in the comments down below. But that's it. So thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you again soon. Bye.